parts. We got a box from good old Euro Tuning. Uh, we got a new clutch master cylinder and a uh, little plastic bracket broke off on the cooling system on the cooling hose. I'll show you outside and I got a metal replacement from a 42 draft design. Slave cylinder, not slave cylinder, clutch master cylinder. All right, so the mobile mechanic was not able to do it. I actually had to end up doing part of it myself. I'm gonna have to call him back to finish the job. He was able to remove parts of the lower dash and the fuse box panel for me so I could get access to everything, but he didn't complete the job because he couldn't get this stupid broken clip that I just got out, out of the fuse. I mean, out of the uh, the clutch pedal. When he was pulling out the clutch master cylinder, this got stuck in the pedal, and he said he couldn't get it out, so he left. And I just got it out with pushing on it from the side with a flathead, a small, tiny flathead. And the fucking mechanic couldn't do it. All he had to do was push on it with a flathead. Right up in there. Let's see if I can get this clutch master cylinder out of here. Because it's pretty tight up in there. I had to figure out how to disconnect the pedal from the cylinder itself. But hopefully. It shouldn't be too difficult. So I guess I'm gonna start by trying to take this piece off and see if I can get out of my way. At least to give me a little more space. The whole back piece. Take both those clips out. And remove the upper piece. Goes all the way over there. Take that out. And the whole plastic bezel could come out because I have to be able to get to. Those once you back. get those two <clears throat> clips out, the piece should just come down. So you have some more space. Now you can probably take this piece off. Yeah, and then you can take that whole piece down and get more room. All right, to remove the clutch master cylinder, you're gonna need to get under your dash, take these two bolts out that are holding it in. I believe it is a 13 millimeter. I recommend using one of these uh, swiveling adapters to make it much easier. And once you get those two bolts out, all right, once you get those two bolts out on the actual clutch pedal itself, up in the top, you'll see a little opening right there to where you can actually access the clip that holds the clutch master cylinder in. And that was one of the things I was struggling with finding is how to remove the actual clutch master cylinder from the clutch pedal itself. And I 
I couldn't find anything online, but there's actually two clips on each side. That's on the right. And then the other one is right up in there. It's hard to see it. I use a small little flathead to get the clips out of the clutch pedal. Still gotta pull the cylinder out. Now all I have to do is reattach the pedal to the clutch master cylinder itself. Right now I have it resting on the side right here. I just have to push it into its slot. She's back in, baby. So I'm here with my handy dandy assistant, Jonathan Bastion, and his brother, Jason Bastion. And we're here trying to finish the clutch and slave master cylinder job that uh, the mechanics at your mechanic couldn't finish. It's all right, they broke some shit, we'll fix it. But now we're gonna bleed the slave and clutch because he was able to actually get the clutch master cylinder in. He just wasn't able to finish the job, so we're gonna bleed the slave cylinder. Wrenching it. I don't think I can get a angle like that. able to take out the new slave remove the broken clip from the back of the pedal put the new clip into the new master cylinder sorry I said slave I meant not master cylinder got the new clip in put the new master cylinder back in with the clip attached I have it aligned with the pedal now I should be able to just tighten the bolts push the clip into the pedal hopefully bleed the system and it should work Let's try. 